Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Guys, um, once again, starting off, my information advice, <laughs> anything is not financial, it's not technical, it's for entertainment purposes only. I'm just here to show you guys exactly what I do in circumstances. Um, this is me personally. Please don't take this as any sort of professional advice whatsoever. If you guys want a video in more depth over a certain thing, if you want more information over anything, please feel free to comment. I will more than happily reply. I will do my best to get back to everybody and I'll do my best to upload videos that you need more information on. Guys, this one's going to be about... Um, I gave a general overview on Trust Wallet and PancakeSwap and Swap. that examples. Um, this is going to be how to purchase a token that isn't listed on a normal exchange. What you first want to do, guys, is when you open up a trust wallet, you want BNB and you want Smart Chain. Um, there's two ways of doing it, depending on your exchange. For example, um, your if you're with CoinSwap, uh, CoinSpot, you can transfer BNB, you can transfer Smart Chain. I'll make another video on how to do that a bit later on. But guys, once you have your Smart Chain, um, you can go to your DApps and you can go to your Pancake Swap. Once you're on your pancake swap, um, slippage will get into that in a minute. Um, this one's going to be about a random crypto. We will bring up, um, guys, so you got Burn Dodge, you got Ducks. Let's say Ducks. Ducks is only a new one that's been out uh, a couple of days, I think. Hasn't been out long. I'm just going to purchase it because I like holding. Um, coins that haven't been around for very long just because that's my personal thing guys um, what you want to do is get the contract address so if you find a new cryptocurrency that you like so if you you know have a for example burn dodge here but you go to recently added you'll see brand new ones when you click on it no matter what you'll see metamask and the contract address same with coin gecko Met metamask contract address copy it when you copy it and you get to this page, select currency. It will not come up in here, so come up with Burn Dodge because I've already purchased that. Um, I will show you guys more about that a bit later. But all you want to do is paste that contract code into the bar here and it will come up. Now when you click import, it will come up with DDC, DDC. When you click import, it will come up with a warning. Guys, anyone can create a token, a fake version. This can be, the problem with investing in very early tokens is, guys, it can be a rug pull, it can be a scam, it can be dodgy, it can also be legit and make you lots of money. It honestly really depends. It could be legit and lose you a lot of money. So, guys, do not invest money you're not willing to lose. I'm happy to lose every single cent I put into these coins. Um, tokens because this is just my messing around with money to make videos all right guys when you understand that import it and it'll pop up here now for example if I want to transfer 0.05 BNB into it I'm gonna get that many I'm don't even I'm not gonna work that out what's that 100 200,000 500 million 73 billion tokens guys when you get that, um, your slippage tolerance will go over slippage in a later date. But let's let's start off with one thing. Let's see let's see if we can get lucky. Confirm the swap. There you go, guys. <laughs> one percent slippage. We'll get into slippage on another one, but that was great. Um, so your BNB thirty three percent swap over two dollars worth fees thirty five dollars. We're going to approve that, and I'm going to enter my fingerprint. And you will see that transaction's gone through. Now what will happen is this will update. It will take out of that, which it just did. Transaction receipt done. And we now have DDC in our wallet. If we close out a pancake swap, it's now popped up with a notification saying it's done. And we go into wallet. Um, we refresh. Smart chains popped up. And Dux is in my account. Now I've already got Dux added to it. So you can see here the amount some will not show up a dollar amount it depends if it updates on coin market or if it that um, ducks I can see on coin gecko not on coin market cap at the moment trust what normally goes off that so for example the burn that I recently purchased you guys can see here that it's showing up a dollar amount 
and if you click the chart you'll be able to see that guys with other ones that aren't showing the dollar amount you won't be able to click the chart and you won't be able to see much information about it so i suggest going to wherever you found it and then you'll be able to have a look and see all the information all right once that's downloaded if it you purchase it and come back here and it's not showing what you want to do is click the icon up here if you type it in and it will show up obviously because i've purchased it so for example if we want ducks it will show up but normally it wouldn't so what you want to do is click add token change this to smart chain and then enter that contract address so this contract address right here just paste it here it'll automatically fill out these details if it does not automatically fill out these details you will have to go through and enter them so dark so ddc we want symbol um, you want your decimals so it how many decimal points is then enter all those details manually i highly recommend not doing that because you shouldn't have to if you do come across a certain token that does need these informations and you don't know what to do contact me reach out comment and i will give you all the information you need on how to do that properly all right guys once that's done that's all you really need to know um if you need to for example sell this and put it back to your smart chain your bnb um, and you want to do it you're just going to have to do everything in reverse go to your d apps scroll down go to that and when pancake swaps in so click your bnb button once it decides to load my internet's a little bit slow there we go you can click for example ddc and you want to swap it back to bnb and then you can click whatever amount you want now guys, I did 0 0.05, so you can see I lost a little bit in slippage and whatnot. Um, when you trade back, you will also swap. Now, when you're normally trading a currency or a token that isn't on many exchanges, you'll have to enable it, um, so you pay a fee. So if you click enable, it will come up with a very, very small fee. There you go, 19 cents. Not going to kill you, but 19 cents just to confirm that you've got that um, confirms a few other things and then you can swap it so you've got to pay that little additional fee um, i'm not going to swap them i'm going to keep them because you know what i'm happy to lose everything that's in this account um, as in if at all if every crypto tanks or every token tanks and it's worth about one cent each as in like my whole portfolio is worth one cent each that's not gonna add, like worry me it's not great but it's not going to worry me all right so um i'll leave it at that if you guys have any other questions uh, any suggestions please let me know but it's as simple as copy paste buy get out um, i'll get into slippage and tokenomics a bit later um other than that guys have a great day and thanks for the video